Hello and welcome one and all to the stream. So a little bit I'm going to start this up, but uh, I'm going to be doing Leon second run. Leon B, if you're old school. Um, so I just want to check to make sure the audio is good on this. Uh, I think that sounds fine. Go get a boy. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best. But uh, so when I first tried Resident Evil 2 remake, as a friend's place, I watched him play all through Claire Claire's first scenario because we were both very excited. So I'd go over and we play it and had a had a grand old time. He wanted to be a big boy, so he played on hardcore. And uh, when he finished that, uh, it was my turn to try. And not wanting to be shown up and outdone, I picked, uh, you know, Leon's second run on Hardcore, um, which is a big mistake. Uh, the game's a lot harder on the second run. You'll see that when I start it up here. Um, and it fucking it ate me alive. Um, I was annihilated. Um, I mean, I didn't get like immediately annihilated, immediately killed, but uh, there was, uh, it was a. Uh, yeah, it wasn't, it was, uh, it was pretty bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Um, but I'm going to try again today, hopefully with all the knowledge and skills that I've gained since then. Uh, this will go much, much better, much smoother. So uh, things start off a little bit different with uh, the second scenario. It's sort of a synopsis of like what happened at the beginning rather than it actually getting you go play through some shit. But you'll see it here in a second. But uh, yeah, here we go, and uh, hopefully, hopefully this goes better. So I'm gonna be watching the cutscenes and shit, just so I can sort of pair up with my last playthrough, which I did put up on YouTube. Uh, so this one, I'm gonna kind of do the same thing. Um, so I'm gonna be pay attention to lore and the cutscenes and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. And also, if uh, anyone's curious, I do prefer playing Leon over Claire, so hopefully that also helps me out here. No one's around. Some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Sorry about that. Sir Redfield. Bitch your ass, I'll be there. Alright. Yeah, she's kind of... Claire's kind of growing on me. Um, honestly, I thought she looked kind of goofy in the... Uh, Like previewed stuff, but kind of gotten used to it. Claire, I hope you made it here. All right. I also haven't played this in a couple days, so uh, might be a little rusty, but I think it'll be all right.
That was the sound of that helicopter. Do you remember from Claire's playthrough? There she blows. meeting like this are you all right please chop it just came out of nowhere yeah I'm fine I take it you don't have the key no I don't it's good to see your face though how are you holding up I am hanging in there Hell of a night huh yeah you find your brother I did actually he's I don't like that they kind of started off here. It's kind of like, well, what the fuck Leon? took Should Leon so long to get here? Don't worry about me. Just get yourself to safety. I know Leon seriously. They're getting good fence. Please just go. We're gonna force hackers isn't as good as Claire's. It depends. Luckily, I know what I'm doing here, kind of. Um, there's some lines, like, it, I, it kind of depends on... I, I don't know. It's tough to say. I think they're both good, honestly. Alright, so. Here, this grenade. So this is, uh... Brad Vickers, the helicopter pilot from the first Resident Evil game, who normally you find down here in the original Resident Evil 2 as a zombie, but uh, not in this one. I'll give you this handgun, which replaces this one immediately, because you only find these shots. I need to clear keys. But yeah, Leon's voice does sound a little flat at times, but later on, I, I don't know, later on it is better. Not exactly how I pictured breaking this in. Oh, fuck you, buddy. I've never seen him hanging out right by this fucking door. That actually really fucking sucks. Actually really fucking sucks because I really needed that grenade. Fuck me. Don't damn it. That's not good. This is really bad. I might actually die. Yeah, I'm dead. That asshole. That fucking asshole has literally never, ever, 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 ever been outside that fucking door like that. So that actually kind of pisses me off. I've never seen that guy there. Ever. So I gotta quit and restart. That fucking sucks. Never have I seen that guy there. That's never happened. <sighs> Man. Scared me could not play this game, yeah. <sighs> Fuck me. Yeah, this game's got some pretty... Pretty good scares in it, honestly. Oh, I want to skip this. Damn. That's too bad, man. I think it's because I took too long in that fucking room so he wandered his ass all the way down there. If you're quick enough, I mean, that's probably what it was, but I didn't expect him to be there until it was too fucking late. Damn it, dude. That sucks so much. Claire, I hope you made it here. Also, I hit uh, quit and restart instead of hitting continue, because if you hit continue, 
it'll put me back at that gate, but the timer won't reset, so it'll keep, it'll still have my time that I spent doing all this already. So that's why I just did this. Oh fuck, I missed the, oh well. Yep. Flirt, flirt, flirt. All right. Fucking book it. Give me that. <sighs> I'm so mad about that. <laughs> it's just annoying, dude. All right. Give me that. Give me this. Give me that. He puts on his uniform. Looks very snazzy. Not exactly how I picture. I do like Leon's uh, outfit look for sure. Oh, and I missed the handgun bullets. What the fuck were those? Oh, they're right here. Okay, do not be right outside this fucking door. Thank you. So that's what's supposed to fucking happen. And that's how that's supposed to fucking happen. God damn it. Oh, right. I get rid of this. Okay, I want these boards. This is not how I imagined my first day. Alright. And then this is already open. Is this broken? No. Oh, I fucking forgot that that happens. down this hallway a lot with Leon, especially in Leon B, so that's why I'm taking the time to board that shit up. Okay, not getting those anytime soon. Okay, let's uh, gather up what's in this room. Some of that, some of this. And I need this. I also think um, this time around when I upload this playthrough, I'm gonna put it in some uh, more digestible chunks. So last time I just did it when I saved this time around, I'm going to, uh, I'm not trying to get S plus. I just wanna play through it. So I'm gonna be saving more often. That said, I don't think there's any fucking ink ribbons. So I can't save right now anyways. All right, so I don't need those magnum bullets. I don't know why I held on to them. Do need those. This guy might still be fucking flopping around the floor here, trying to get my way. There he is. Hello, Elliot. Would you please get that out of my fucking way, man? Good enough. Okay. Into here. So I can get some shit. Grab that. Grab these. This guy over here is a pain in my ass. I think there's gunpowder. Yeah, there is. But now there's yellow gunpowder in there. This guy's gonna break this window any fucking second now. That fucking. Green herb is a goddamn ink ribbon now, son of a bitch. Okay, so I need this. I'm gonna take that. And now I'm getting the fuck out. Oh, you son of a bitch. This fucking guy. Okay. Can I go this way around? Oh. 
go in here and grab these. And I know there's a first aid spray in that bathroom still, I think. Come to think, I've actually never checked. I think every time I've played B scenario, I always kind of rush through things, so I don't check a lot of shit thoroughly. Yeah, it is still there. Okay. I don't know what's going to happen here. There are... No? Okay. I definitely want those. Come back later for those boards. And then do this. Oh, fuck. I forgot that dude show up here immediately. Marvin's already over Is there. Here? Fucking ink ribbons. The first aid spray's still here. I need this. Oh, I didn't get the missing page. Oh, wow. I mean, I have the solution pulled up anyways, but... That's one thing... This notebook that you get in the air scenario has a page missing, so you can't actually uh, complete all the puzzles. I think one of them's even covered up, so you still need to get something special. Shit, dude. Shit, dude! Okay. Oh, fuck. I forgot about you. Uh, okay. See what I mean though? Like in the main hall, you get there right away, there's already fucking three zombies here. Like, that's no good. There's no save box here either. And if I check that computer, I'm not gonna do it because it's bad if I do. Um, but if you uh, check it, Mr. X starts stalking you at that point rather than a little bit later. What in the? Thought about this too. Nothing here, man. Don't worry about me. They're at least nice enough to not put a bunch of fucking dickhead zombies in this fucking hallway right now. That's nice. Fuck you guys. Okay. So because I have the bolt cutters, that means I can do this earlier. Done? Yeah, they are. Which means I can then go and grab this. Get that done over much sooner. Grab this. So now I don't have to climb through this window. Although I still am going to. Did I get the... Uh... I'm just going to look at this. Just so I know it's here. I mean, Nathan remembers it's here, but... In the future, I might not remember. Like... I come back here later, but I'm still gonna go through here because that one zombie's still over there, plus this is closer to the hand bullets that are back here. Right here. So I kinda need as many bulls as I can fucking get. Jesus. Oh, he is dead. Okay. No. Is... No. This is a zero nine. There we go. I'm gonna say already, despite me dying once, this is going better than uh, the last time I started doing this. Okay. This is bullshit, because this guy don't get time to board up. He just shows the fuck up. You bastard. Now you tell him, Leon. Oh, 
Oh, fuck off. Man, that other fucking... Drop? I don't think so. Some more gunpowder. Um, let's see. Those zombies are way too creepy. Yeah, <laughs> they did a good job with the zombies in this for sure. For sure. Oh, that's what I should have done. Should have gone and gotten that hip pouch. I enjoy watching me. <laughs> yeah, this game really, like, after, like, Resident Evil 6, they seem to have kind of, like, when they came out with 7, they seem to have figured out much more of what's actually what works in terms of, like, making shit scary and shit like that. How do I get a blue in here? Oh yeah, the right. Um, honestly, I should save. Oh, what the fuck! Oh, just go, just go, just go! What an asshole! He's gonna come into this fucking room now. Okay, so I know this still. This doesn't change. Nine, fifteen, seven. All right. Some more inventory. Um, this is kind of pointless now because it's going to have, um, Gonna have something for the fucking Matilda. Which wouldn't be that bad, except you use a different fucking gun throughout this entire thing, because you only find the 45 ammo rounds. So you don't and you can't use them with your regular handgun. So that's unfortunate. Got hanging out. Fucking you asshole. Okay. <laughs> Biggest thing is to try to take legs and shit off, but the problem is. Just because they're on the ground like that doesn't mean they can't still fucking grab you. Taking this shit to stash. For that hallway that I visit frequently. Do that because that's next. Oh, I want to do this. I like keeping my weapons at the bottom of my inventory and my sub weapons. Um, just so that I don't have problems. Uh, Yes, yes, you're both very intimidating. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. There's thankfully some bullets here. There we go, this dickhead. The reason that I don't like the B scenario handguns, like they're good to start. That guy's not dead. I know that. Um, they're good to start. However, they uh, never get upgrades, so they're always kind of they're good. They're good at the start of the game, but they fall off really quick. I find, anyways. I still hear those fucking zombies down there. 
You also get this a lot, a lot, a lot quicker. Um, because that's gonna have the badge in it. Um, this was shotgun shells, yeah. And this one is also shotgun shells. All these combinations don't change. The only things that, the puzzle solutions change. Just not the, uh, combinations and safe codes. See that? Now I'm just trying to think. Oh, right. I'm going to wait before I go down here. I know I have a very, very good reason for doing that. Because I know what's coming. There's no liquor in this hall this time. But uh, there's something far worse. So I'm going to go back out here. I'm going to go back here and grab this. His knees look like cheap hookers after university. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Where did you fucking come from, bud? Yeah, that's what happens when you make unsolicited appearances at events that you weren't invited to. You get fucking wrecked. Did you fucking... She's still here. Hopefully, no bite. Yeah, that's right. Okay. No liquor, lame. Yeah, you just wait. I'll be going back there soon. I'm just uh, using up this key first, and then. Uh... Oh. Fuck, dudes. Would you guys chill. I'm gonna get trapped in here. Fucking bitch. I wish she wasn't standing directly in front of that fucking door. Okay. I only have- oh my god, this is bad. gets up. That's sitting by the door. But I need to go over here now. Ah, oh, shit. When they're prone, they're still dangerous, just less so. They're typically easier to avoid. Okay. This will get this out of my inventory, which is good. So now, oh, there's a fucking guy here too. Okay, so I need that. And this will give me that jewel I can put into that uh, box to get the stars badge. So I want to go to the star's office. I don't have to piss around with that. Paying attention? Whoops. I remember there's a zombie dread outside this fucking door now. Oh, good. I don't know where the fuck he was, but I'm not complaining. Okay. Good. She's sideways. Oh, man. This is fucking stressful, dude. Okay. This is really goddamn stressful. Okay. So now I'm going to... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is bad, because this guy's going to get up now. Could you fuck off? 
Oh, you're missing an arm. Okay. Shit, dude. I have, like, no fucking bullets. Oh, I fucking forgot I had this. Durr. Okay. And yeah, I do have infinite fucking minigun and rocket launcher, but, uh... Doing this legit. <laughs> Can animation is too much for freaking nightmares. Yeah, it is really creepy. It's like uh, some ring shit. Okay. Oh, you bastard! You son of a bitch, dude. That sucks. Okay. Okay, now we're in business. Fuck. And this is 106. I don't remember if that's the one I'm actually looking for, or if that's a different... Nah, I don't need this. This dude's literally laying down outside this fucking door. Go fucking do this now, dude. That's so annoying. God, I got a lucky fucking shot. Okay, I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna do this because I need as many shotgun shells as I possibly can get. Okay, so that's that. I have like no idea which ones are still fucking alive and which ones aren't. I'm so fucking paranoid now. That was just a jump scare. <laughs> Not opening that locker. All right. Go through here. Grab this. Put it in here. Okay. Another one of these. And I am taking this. And I'm taking this. I'm using that right fucking way. So yeah, when you're playing the A scenario, you have to wait quite a bit until you get this unlocked. So there we go. Um, and that's Chris's letter, read that last time, and this is new. Claire's memo. Leon, I hope you find this. The station's done. Get out of here ASAP. Don't worry about me. I'll be alright. And don't stress about my brother either. Just focus on getting yourself out of here alive, Claire. So. <clears throat> she left us a nice letter being like, yo, get the fuck out of here. Alright. So that's taken care of. I'm gonna just examine this and do this because next time I need it, it's uh, like this. Um, and yeah, let's go. Yeah, so, uh, you find Mr. X here, <laughs> much, much earlier than in the previous game. Uh, he's a pain in the ass, 
I fucking hate him. Especially since these fucking zombies are still alive. Oh, fuck you, buddy. So we could do this now. Um, but I don't want to do it while Mr. X is chasing me. For what I can only assume to the rest of you is probably obvious reasons. However, this door over here is locked going back that way. more zombies here now than there were before because that one chick came out. He's going to hear this. But I gotta get rid of some of these zombies in here. So I'm going to head back to I'm going to head back to the save room way over here and save. Because I've done quite a bit, and uh, now that Mr. X is active, I am really not looking forward to him punching me once and taking me out. Elliot, man, you gotta go. He's still alive, but at least he's out of my way. I don't recall. If and when enemies start trying to break through these fucking windows. Well, they definitely do at some point. I just don't remember when that happens. So it's that, I don't need that right now. I only have three fucking bullets. I don't need the lightning hawk. Dude. Actually. Build that. Come back. I don't have any ribbons. I have no fucking ribbons. God damn it. Oh, I do have boards though. Get the fuck in there. God damn it. For this. I don't even think you can pull that one. Elliot, bro, we've talked about this. Yeah, there's a dude in there right by that fucking ink ribbon. Elliot, bro. Out of the fucking way. Now the zombies are coming out into this fucking hall. This is a fucking mess. See, all my saves, except for two, are fucking hard, or first runs. 